Hey guys, got a cool, cool thing I want to talk about today. Uh, sponsor of this video is Clan HQ. And if you guys are unfamiliar, what Clan HQ is, is a messaging app. But what is amazing about it is that it has tons and tons and tons of cool features, including integrations for all your favorite games. It makes it even easier to find people you go they have this tab right here recruiting you click on this you can look around there's some ads here looking for members looking for groups but then it gets really crazy you click on the search you go ahead in here and you say oh this just looks like a regular search but bam you pick marvel strike force come in here and you can look for people based on all of these values so imagine imagine being able to find somebody who say man i just want somebody who's above 3.5 million total collection power and you don't even have to like get them to send you screenshots or anything else. You just type it in here and it pulls up the whole list. It is amazing. If you're interested in this, I think it is amazing. And you guys want to get in on it, please do. It is uh, Clan HQ, got it on Android and Apple products. They're amazing. You guys, quick positive shout out to Fox Next. Really enjoyed the uh, Elsa Bloodstone campaign. I thought it was funny. I guess that's how like her character has a lot of personality. Uh, but I really enjoyed playing through that, and she was a lot of fun. And it was like it was just funny. It was entertaining. Like I actually found myself interested in reading like the story. And I usually don't read those at all. I usually just skip through them, and I don't really care that much. Sometimes I read them, but for the most part, I just skip through them. And so I just want to say shout out to them for that because I really did enjoy that one and I read through the whole thing. So thanks for that one, Fox Next. Today, uh, we're just going to be talking uh, probably about Ultima 7 again is kind of my thought. I just wanted to talk about it because I've seen a lot of people just kind of like saying whatever and just like me, 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 me. And I want to talk about it because I just want to because it's a hot topic, right? So I think it's at least interesting. So we're going to just dive into that. I'm going to talk about the ways that I think we can improve it. And that's going to be partly on Fox Next side. That's going to be partly on the community side. I think it's important, and I hope that you guys enjoy this video. All right. So, Ultima 7, right? So, we've got... I've got this lane right here. I think you guys know that if you've watched any of my other videos. Uh, yesterday, pushed all the way up to here, this vision node. And um, it gets pretty crazy when you're up that high. <laughs> I don't really know... I don't really know how you would beat this without just spending a million cores. Uh, this node was crazy because the carnages and green goblins and stuff too. It, it gets nutty. Um, especially because uh, Carnage becomes green goblin's best friend because he goes so fast that they're constantly just clearing stuff, clearing stuff, clearing stuff. So I found it to be interesting though as I was playing because I realized that I had been a little grouchy about this raid because I was like, oh, this is too hard. This is just... This is ridiculous. How is anyone supposed to do this? You know, yada, yada. You know, the long list of excuses. The more I thought about it, though, I realized I was like, you know, like, this is hard and it is a bit ridiculous. So don't hear me say that it's not. But it, I was like, man, like, you know, I don't expect to beat this node right now. This is going to be crazy. Like, how could we beat that right now? But I was just getting mad when it was like, oh, like we can't even get to 60%. And it's like, well, you, you probably shouldn't be able to, right? Like we're top 20 alliance, but it doesn't mean that we should be able to just blast through the newest end game content like it's nothing. And so I felt like for me, I needed a bit of an expectation check. And I think a lot of people need expectation checks because you shouldn't be coming in here expecting to blow the doors off of it. Now, Fox Next is changing the way that the points work so that it is worth more points to 30% uh, this raid than it is to 100% Ultima 6 was my understanding. That's how it read to me. It was a post on Reddit, and I um, saw it on Discord as well. So I think that's important because then it doesn't feel like you have to just keep doing Ultima 6. You can just kind of slug your way through this for 30%. And I think that's pretty important, right? Because we need that like sense of like, hey, like we're grinding, like we're trying to get through this, like we're working on this. And so I think that's pretty important. And I don't think a lot of people were really feeling that. It was like, oh, like we had to get 60% to, to get more points for the season than to, you know, Ultima 6 or whatever. And you don't really feel like you ever progress because it's like, oh, yeah, we'll keep getting stuff. 
from Ultima 6 because it gives me better season rewards, but then like you don't even like you're not familiar with Ultima 7 when the time comes for you to actually do it. So, I mean, it's a whole thing, right? I think that they're making positive steps to improve that, to make that better. It seems like Fox Next has been le listening recently, at least to certain things. I've kind of noticed in my communications to them, they seem to be listening a bit more than they used to. Not sure if that's going to last or if that's for real, but I don't know. It's kind of just like one of those things where it's like, I'm trying to be positive about it. You know what I'm saying? Because it I means in my book, it's better to be positive than negative. And I know you guys are going to say, oh, you're just supporting them. But whatever. I mean, I don't. I'm just being positive because I don't, I'd rather be positive than negative because to me, it's just kind of like whatever. That's kind of how I am though. That's my personality. I know a lot of people are not that way. A lot of people are a lot more cynical than I am, but I try to be positive about it. The next step, next way that I think that Ultima 7 can be improved. So the first step, having your expectations set because they need to be set. It's important. I think a lot of people don't have it. Next step is going to be to work on the right teams, to work on the specific teams. You know, we have some of these teams that I really like that people don't really like some people are not using so like i'll like make these videos about teams and i'm just like hey you're gonna use this 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 and this so like you know the invisible woman team that's kind of going around right now you know people are just like well who can i sub for that who can i do i have to use shuri can i just use somebody else and it's like well no you can't like they want to use other teams that don't require these legendary so like people want to be beating this end game content but they don't want to use end game characters they just want to use whatever mishmash same teams that they've been using if brand new content comes out and you can just continue to use the same teams over and over it doesn't make any sense so maybe that goes along with setting the expectations but it's like if you're coming in there and you're saying oh yeah like i'm gonna use my bkt team and you probably can you can get a couple nodes but like why would a team that busts u6 wide open and fear the darkness and pretty much every other pve content You'd think that they would probably tune to making make the raid so like that team doesn't work as well anymore, right? Because it just why would they not? They want you to use new teams. That's how they make money is by people using different teams. So, I mean, I get it. We should just be thankful that it's not like oh you need the supernatural team to get through here. You know what I mean? Because nobody would be able to have them right now, and um, they're a lot of fun. But like. You know, like nobody would be able to get through it and it would just be like, oh, like, oh, this is a, this is the worst. This is terrible. You know, and everybody would be having a fit. But it's like you should expect that you need to use different teams. You need to build different teams. Thankfully, Ultron still works very well. You know, I guess I just I'm kind of ranting about that a little bit because I just think it's ridiculous. Like, don't throw a fit when it comes to new content coming out and you need to build a new team for it. It makes sense. You know what I mean? Like. I don't know that. That's just how I feel. I've been tired of hearing that. Like everybody's like, oh, does this team work? Does this team work? Does this team work? It's like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. Your Kree team is not going to work. Your shield team probably isn't going to work. Like it just, it doesn't work. You need to work on some of these more updated teams. And so a lot of people are going to disagree with me on that one. They're probably going to complain about it and just be like, oh, well, whatever. I don't care. Okay, I hear you, but it makes sense logically to work on new teams. Next thing I want to talk about, this is probably really the last reason um, or the last way that I think this can be improved is uh, this one's for Fox Next. Um, I don't know, guys, listen, you got to not put in like if there's combos that are like impossible to beat, just give us like let there. I don't know if you guys think this way, like or maybe they do. But like Fox Next, like are you guys thinking like. This is going to be really hard, but we have this team combination in mind that can beat this. You know what I mean? So for like example, like at first when I started playing this Carnage node, I was like, this is impossible. I was like, I can't beat this. I was like, this is literally impossible. And I just, I couldn't beat it. And I was mad and I was like, this is stupid. This is the first boss node and it's unbeatable. And then I just realized that you need to use a different team. Like you need to use uh, Magneto so that you can blind uh, Carnage and Venom on the first turn so that they don't give you bleeds and then spread them all around. And then once you do that, you can beat this node. I one shot at this node the other day after I realized I put Magneto on my team. So it just depends. And that's not my normal team. My normal team is uh, Shuri, Invisible Woman, Captain Marvel, Minerva, Ultron. And so I swapped out Captain Marvel for Magneto and then I was able to get through it. And so it's like, you know, then like you come in and then it's like this node that probably would have worked on this node as well, but I didn't manage my cooldowns correctly and I had to pay for it. You know, it, it cost me because I didn't manage the stuff right. And that's kind of what this game's all about. But that said, 
Fox next. I hope that you guys are like, when we come to these notes, like these really, really hard or impossible feeling notes, like I hope that like there's a team in mind that you guys are like, yeah, like we're not telling you what this is, but like there's a team specifically that needs to be used to beat this. And with all the amount of characters that are in the game right now, I'm sure that there are, you know? And so, I mean, there's actually plenty of options for this node and also for this node. Uh, Scientist Supreme is a really good option as well. Just wanted to put that out there because I know you guys are going to say it in the comments. Um, but yeah, so it's like, I just, I hope that like these really difficult nodes are tuned to something that like a specific team is good for, or you guys had a character in mind, like, yeah, like if they use this character, if this character is geared up, uh, then they're going to be able to get through it. Cause I've noticed that like red stars don't really matter. Um, a lot of people complain about that and they're just like, Oh, I can't believe they tuned this around red stars. And like they have, and they haven't, right? Sorry. I played this node and it's got this 93,000 power, uh, daredevil. And I put in my tier 12.5 iron man and put him in there and then daredevil uses ultimate and one shot at him oh he's six red stars well excuse me six red star 12 12.5 seven red star iron man got one shot at full health by this daredevil and so it's like well like did the red stars even matter because he has so much health but this dude's just so beefy and this dude doesn't have a lot of red stars so i don't think that red stars matter as much as synergy because if i had used vision in that team or if i had shuri to give the quick defense up then they would have been fine you know so it just depends more on synergies i think so that's kind of my last thing to say that's kind of like rolled into like fox next i hope you have a team in mind but then also assuming that they do which is just me being just you know thoughtful i guess I'm trying to be positive about the situation, and I know, like I said, I pushed all the way up to this node, and I mean, I spent a gazillion cores, but I was in a competition with my alliance, and that made it a lot of fun, so maybe you guys should try having competitions uh, between your team members and, or your alliance members, and just make it fun. Yeah, that's it. Um, I want this to be improved as much as you guys do. I want it to be good, but I think a lot of it can start with us, and because we can control us. You know, that's the way I see it. Um, and that's just simple advice that my mom gave me one time when I was growing up. And it was, you can't control other people, but you could control yourself. So I can control my own positive attitude and I can say, okay, well, let's build some special teams for this. Or I can say like, man, like maybe I just can't do that good on it right now or whatever, but I can control my own attitude about it. And this was really irritating me and stressing me out. And so now I can just say, hey, here's the things that I can do. Here's the things that I can hope for. So hope you guys are feeling the same. If not, hopefully this video changes your mind. That said, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your halloween uh it's your boy combs make sure to smash the subscribe button like button leave me a comment with what you think appreciate you guys